so this is the Kinabalu Park, one of the first and most famous natural parks in Malaysia. The light is pointing directly at the center of the mountain. We should go deeper into the forest to find the green seed. What are you talking about? I don't like it. Oh, Lemmy. I'm sure that if you look closely, you'll find something that you like. Oh, look. What is that? Wow! It must be a plant that's indigenous to this area. I really think it looks a little funny. It's a silly looking plant. Listen up, everyone. I know what that is. It's a Venus flytrap, a bug-eating plant. Uh, if an unsuspecting fly touches a sensor located between its leaves, it quickly goes snap and eats it up, and the fly is simply gone. It's kaput. Wow! <laughs> I've never seen you guys in this area. Would you mind if I ask why you're here? My name is Yuhu. My friends and I are traveling the world looking for shiny green seeds. What's your name? Nice to meet you. My name is Josh. I live here in the forest. This is my home sweet home. It's our pleasure to meet you, Josh. Did you just mention that you came here looking for green seeds? Yes. Wait a minute. I think I've heard huh? of them before. Mm -hmm. Just let me try to remember. You they know, know where they, they are. are. But I can't remember the exact location. I guess I'll just show you around the park first while I wait for everything to come back to me. Good, Good idea. idea. <sighs> that Tarsier really thinks he's something. <laughs> No, don't oh, touch oh, it! Oh, Chiwu, you should really be more careful. That plant is what you call it. It's called a pitcher plant. It eats bugs just like the Venus flytrap. The rim of the plant's pitcher-like mechanism has some sticky substance that causes insects to fall into its trap. And when you've fallen in, it grabs onto you and never lets go. Oh, Josh, you really know everything about this forest. Well, not really. It's not a big deal. Come on, why don't we continue the rest of this trip? Well, what he said isn't exactly the same as the encyclopedia's info, but I guess he knows better because he's been living here a long time. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the Nepenthes plant, my friends. It's a kind of pitcher plant. If you ask me, Nepenthes sounds like a dead Egyptian pharaoh who's tucked away in some magnificent pyramid. <laughs> You're so funny! So is this the trapping mechanism right here? Its color is very bright and attractive. That's right. Its purpose is to lure innocent prey inside, so don't you ever touch it, okay? Once you put your finger inside, the plant will go go, and after that, you can just say goodbye to your finger. Got okay. it! <laughs> Why does he have to act like such a smarty pants? I find it more and more difficult to stand him as we continue on this tour. I'd give anything just to have him shut up. I'm just as intelligent as that, Josh. But he's just more entertaining, I guess. Uh, and this is Photochilus microphilius, the smallest orchid in the world. It's an extremely rare plant that can only be found here in Kinabalu. Doesn't the name sound like a magical spell? Photochilus microphilius. And poof comes a magical cloud of smoke. You're right. <laughs> Photochilus microphilius. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, come and see these. There are lots more Nepenthes plants over here. Huh? Hey, you got left behind. Hey. We're already talking about Podocalus micropholis. We're done discussing the Nepenthes plants. Just to appreciate his efforts, why don't we all say that Rudy did a great job? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's carry on, shall we? Okay. <laughs> What did they say exactly? Podoculus microphilus? What in the world are they talking about? I really don't like that guy, John or Josh or whatever his name is. Ah, here's an idea. Why don't we play a word game to keep us occupied? 
What kind of word game? It's easy. You just have to come up with a word that rhymes with a word the player before you is going to provide. Okay, it sounds like fun. fun. Why are they leaving me behind? Maybe they haven't actually noticed I was missing. Wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> so what game are you playing this time? Can you please count me in? It's a simple word game. All you have to do is think of a word that rhymes with a word which will be provided. Okay, I'll start. Mountain. Uh, easy, fountain. How about cherry? Strawberry! Strawberry! <laughs> what rhymes with ribbon? Ribbon? Ribbon. Oh, no, I'm stumped. What rhymes with the word ribbon? Come on, Rudy, think fast. Come up with something so we can finish the game. I guess Rudy doesn't know everything after all. He's stuck. <laughs> Hey, guys, why don't we just play another game this time? Mm, hold on, let me think of something else. Ah, do you know a lot of tongue twisters? Yes, we love tongue twisters! She shells seashells by the seashore. She shells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> what word on earth rhymes with ribbon? I can't seem to find a word. I present to you the biggest flower in the world. This right here is called Raphalesia. Wow, it's humongous! I can show you more amazing flowers if you want. Just follow me. Wow. <laughs> what rhymes with ribbon? I need to find a word that rhymes with ribbon. We're finally here. I think this is the place. Wow! <sighs> Let me take a look around. I'm pretty sure I saw a green seed somewhere in this area. Wow! Look at how gigantic that flower is! Yes, it's quite huge. And the best thing about this flower is that you can play a game with it. Play a game with a flower? flower? That's right. Check this out. Catch me if you can. You can't catch me. <laughs> I let you win that time. <laughs> Did you see that? We played a nice little game. Yeah, yeah that's so cool. Let's try it again, shall we? Catch me if you can. <laughs> you better hustle. <laughs> I like letting it win sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Look behind you, the flower's moving! Huh? Help me! Help me! What's going on over there? So fast! Don't go any closer, Yoo-Hoo. You might get eaten just like Josh. Huh? There it is. Just as I thought. The thing that got Josh is a mutant Raphalesia. And judging by the way it's acting, I think it's upset with Josh. So what do we do now? <laughs> I already knew this could possibly happen. He must have taunted the flower. But don't worry, the good news is that the Raphalesia won't hurt him. I read that in my encyclopedia. That means we just have to get him out of there. Get me out! It really stinks in here! I can't take it! Rudy, you know what to do! Please help Josh get out of that flower! Why should I help that conceited and rude show-off who always cuts me off whenever I try to say something to you? Well, because he's our friend. Our friend? Come on, Rudy! Josh was just trying to be nice by showing us around and giving us information about this place. Rudy, please! Please! Let's help him! Let's help him! Help me! Okay, okay, you win. I'll do it. I guess I could try. <laughs> Ta-da! Behold my ginormous crane! What's that 
that shiny thing. Stink so bad. Look what I found Mom? inside. Is this the green seed you huh? were looking for? Oh, wow. That accident was a blessing in disguise. Wow. Thanks a lot, Josh. And thanks to you, Rudy. Thanks so much for saving me. You're lucky I'm smart. <laughs> Turns out I know a lot more than you do. Now Rudy is back to his old smarty pants self. <laughs> 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 